In this demonstration, I will be showing you how to use a very handy tool called Text to Columns that is found in Excel 2007, which can be used to split apart text found in one cell into two or more separate cells. My example here are uh, some names where the first name and last name show up in one column. I would like to split these up into two separate columns, the first column for first name, second column for last name. To start with, I'm going to first go ahead and highlight the text that I would like to uh, work on. So now that I've highlighted it, I'm going to go up here to the ribbon to the Data tab. And now to the Data Tools group to this Text to Columns option. Single left click, and uh, I would like to go ahead and use my Delimited Data. Now, I'm going to go ahead and note that delimited means that characters uh, such as commas or tab separate each field. Now, neither a comma or a tab separate these fields. In fact, it is a space, but I am going to go ahead and use the delimited option. I'm going to click Next. Now here, you can see that this screen lets you set the delimiters your data contains. Now, I am indeed using space in between the first name and last name as my delimiter, and that is checked. Now, just in case there might happen to be not just one, but two spaces in between, it's always good to make sure that you treat consecutive delimiters as one, as in two spaces, being the same as one. I'm going to keep that clicked. And right down here is a preview of what it's going to look like with this delimiter. I'm going to hit Next. Now here, it gives me an option to go ahead and change or format the way each column is going to look once I do separate the text into columns. I've always found that this is typically easier to format the columns after you've gone ahead and done the split. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this as general data format for right now and hit finish and as you can see I now have a column here for first name and a column here for last name. I'm going to go here and insert one more row just to keep my database nice and organized. In this case I'm going to go to the home tab and I'm going to go to insert cell insert a row. Next Label my two columns, first name, last name. Now, that's a demonstration of how to separate when it's a space in between. On my second sheet here, I'm going to show you how to separate last name, comma, space from first name. So here, it's very similar. I'm going to highlight my group that I would like to uh, convert from text into columns. I'm going to go back up to the data field, data tab, go to the data tools group, text to columns, and once again I'm going to be using delimited fields. Click next. This time I'm not using a space, I'm going to unclick that. It's actually a comma in between, and again, it's always good to treat consecutive delimiters as one. And here you can see what it's going to look like separating it by a comma. Next. Again, I want to keep my data uh, format as general. I will go ahead and format uh, all of my data Later on, once it's in columns, just an easier way to do it. And now I'm ready. I'm going to click Finish. And with that, you can see I now have a column for last name and a column for first name. Once again, just a good practice to keep things organized with headers. I'm going to go ahead back to the Home tab to insert a row. And again, label it last name first name. Now that's it for my demonstration. I hope that learning how to use text to column might be very handy for you in the future.